terms, okay? About getting on with with him just like before really. I mean I don't really I mean there's a lot to heal heal any tension that was there when you win. Um he also showed how valuable he was to the four and how well he makes the rest of us row. I just hope the same would happen if I wasn't there. Well no, I'd hope they'd lose, but I'd hope that I was missed as much. So that's going well, sharing a room with, with Tim again for that three weeks here. Should be okay. Nice and close. <laughs> nice double bed for three weeks with them. Over the next two months, the four go abroad for a series of races and training camps. As they move from country to country, living and working together 24 hours a day, they have lots of time for bonding, both on and off the water. I've never seen them so aggressive, Martin. Last night around the hotel, they were just quiet, they kept themselves to themselves, and you could see they were really, really pumped. Britain are back. I'm the blue one. You're the blue one. You're the red one. Right. Oh my God. <laughs> They win all their races and end the season rock solid, especially Tim and James. Oh! Swat, <laughs> what are you doing? I was just, oh, I just pressed it gently just to smell it. Look, I see it came out. <laughs> Hi. Oh, shave your chest and a, a little patch up in your left temple. <laughs> it's, ooh, it's powerful stuff, look. No. <laughs> <laughs> This is your best performance ever. <laughs> I'd be pleased with that. <laughs> See where I am. Do you want to come over my leg? <laughs> While the four have been away, their home club in Henley, the Leander, has been undergoing a transformation. They're back now to train here for the winter season, in the midst of all the builders' rubble. I've done the floor layout for the gym and ordered up the, ordered up the equipment. That was my job. Um, but it wasn't my money I was spending. The refurbishment is costing three million pounds, two million of which is lottery funding. The difference with this and other sporting projects is that other sporting projects have to be, you know, made available to the, you know, to the general population. And what was, what was different with this lottery application is that it wasn't, wasn't going to be like that. It's an elite centre and, that's, and that's, been a, that's been a departure for, for the lottery. All meetings now take place in a porter cabin. Tim has called the crew together to discuss a health problem. He had a serious back operation in 1995 and a recent scan has shown he needs an injection in the base of his spine. And what they've spotted at the moment is a tear and a sort of small bulge but nothing sort of major so as long as I don't stress the disc so it will sort of spread out the side I'll sort of be okay so it sort of proves there is a problem there that we, we do need to address. I mean maybe if it means not rain till Christmas. I think we have now a little bit of practice in crisis management especially from the last year and of course this is illness now we we'll have to assess the situation without losing our goal to have him back in, in the boat as soon as possible, no question. It doesn't affect me uh, at all really, I haven't got, I haven't got any problems with it. I'm, I'm happy doing, doing what we're doing and training along and, and giving Tim the time he needs to get back, get back uh, into the boat again. It was actually nice to see the other guys, it's funny how different they are to me, particularly James compared to my hand injury, which was self-inflicted. I mean, the hand injury was stupid and... but recoverable. I mean, you, well, I knew it was just a case of 
getting my hand back into shape and that wasn't going to affect my rowing with the back which is caused by my rowing I mean that could be something that re recurs it's not a question of six weeks out it, it could be six weeks out come back and then out permanently depending on whether I can my back can take it so people say sport's good for you <laughs> but it isn't at the top level there was definite degeneration of the disc. It's just a sign that my body is uh, is complaining about what I put it through, really. You want him to have a, a nice life after rowing, and uh, you're on the rock at your back now. I mean, people say, you know, would you rather be um, George Foreman or Muhammad Ali? And they think, well. It's a hard question, isn't it? Would you rather be known as the greatest ever, but have Parkinson's, well, if Parkinson's is caused by his boxing now, or be Foreman, you know, he's got all his senses, it's, you know, happy break at 50. No problems, but we've always been known for losing. Tim has the injection in his spine and is recuperating at his parents' house. Had my little operation today. Feeling a little bit battered and bruised, uh, but not really worse for wear. Hopefully it's first stage of uh, getting better, so you have to go through this sometimes. Um, I'm at my mum and dad's house, that my mum's looking after me, um, which is nice, mum's cooking. Hello! Hello darling. <laughs> While Tim is flat on his back and unable to train, the others have gone to Australia. They intensify their training, becoming super fit. Whilst in Sydney, they go to inspect the Olympic course. In the future, we're going to be coming into race. They led by 10 seconds after 500. They were three seconds adrift at the halfway mark. <laughs> <laughs> they threw us here, though. As long as it's not three of us. So. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> when we come back in 2000. Perhaps there's a new event. You better get training back <laughs> I can hold you. It's always good to see it before we race. You know, you can put in mind what you're building towards. It's such a shame. Tim hasn't been here to see it. Uh, he should be back training by January 1st, <laughs> supposedly. Or maybe not January 1st. I was feeling a bit rough, but you know around them. But things aren't going well for Tim. His back has taken a turn for the worse and he has to have a disc removed. It's a major operation. Basically discovered that if I actually stay in bed, um, it's the only way really to stave off the screaming abdabs really. Um, which isn't great in the week when I was hoping to get back into training, get fitter. In terms of what Jürgen will do, in terms of someone going in the four, will they train? I don't know, it's still early days yet. We don't normally row the four too much at this point. But with only three people, they can either not row it at all or get someone else in, whether that person comes in temporarily or permanently. I don't know. That'll have to be sorted out it's for Jürgen to, to deal with, really. He'll talk to the others about it. And uh, hopefully, this will be a part of it, but everything's up in the air at the moment.